Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle, AKA Sigerista here on YouTube. And today is Friday. I must said September. Friday, October 7th. And we have a finish. We have a fully finished. So I finished the tree last night. And yesterday when I was done work, I had put this paper on here. So I changed it from the original paper I was going to do. Let me tell you, so the process of finding the proper scrapbook paper, not an easy process. And what I try to do is I try not to think too much about it because then I just get all in my head and then I think everything looks awful and then I don't make a decision. So I try to literally go with my instinct when I'm picking it out. So I loved this paper with the leaves, but then I wanted like kind of the gray to pull in that paper. I think it turned out good. Yeah, love how the tree turned out. So I already have a spot for this. Um, I need more picture hangers though. So I was able to order some and they'll be here today. But yay. Now this board is from Dollar Tree. This was one of the ones I got. It looks like a mason jar. And remember, I'd already put like some of these enamel dots up there. But yeah. I really like it. I love the pattern. Um, I will definitely have to stitch more of her stuff. Okay. And so yesterday when I was like doing that, I also changed some paper for the next two projects I have. So the next one I am going to stitch, I did decide to go ahead and start this for, this is like the fourth time. And I normally start in the middle. Okay. In the middle, what winds up happening is you stitch the cauldron first. Because the middle is like where there are no stitches. So I always move over to the cauldron. This time I'm going over to the words fire burn. So I feel like in my brain starting in a new spot in the pattern will. Um, it, will it will change my thinking about it. And I even looked ahead at the pattern. Because remember now that I did the individual stitches. I did with these diamonds. I'm like ooh. The options are limitless for other projects that have individual stitches. And there are individual stitches in this cauldron. See these little ones? I ordered some green AB diamonds, because I don't have any, from uh, Tina's Sparklers. She has a store online. It's DP with Sparklers. So I ordered some of um, those, and I can't wait, because I think it's going to look really, really good on the cauldron. Um but yeah, so I originally had different paper on this board. So this is the board I'm using from Dollar Tree to finish that on. Remember, I had put the little spiders and then the Happy Halloween sign. And the paper I chose is this. You know, and also when picking out paper, I try to contrast it with the color of the perforated paper. If that makes any sense. So when I put this on here, that looks pretty good. And then here's the paper. Here's the stitched piece, hypothetically, because I obviously have nothing on there. I think that's going to look pretty good. I questioned this green paper. I didn't want something too, too busy because this is checkerboard. Do you know what I mean? And I know there's green in this piece. It's not this shade of green, but I think that will still look good and I'm going to try to put maybe some other spiders here on the side I might not I might not just having them at the top but there's that one that's what that's going to look like and I mean because there are one two three there are ten colors in this piece so it's going to be quite colorful so I was trying not to find too much patterned paper like I said up against this checkerboard okay so there's that one then the other one I really had problem with was the Salem Sisters Apothecary one. Remember, I dyed this piece of paper for it, which I'm very pleased with that. And I received um, my four skeins of Color and Cotton Rustic Black in the mail. Let me pull one out. Gorgeous thread. So those came in the mail yesterday, and that's what I'm going to use to stitch it. You can see it's a little bit variegated, so it's like gray-black. I think it's going to look fantastic. So, trying to imagine that piece all with black, right? 
This was the original board that I picked. I was going to do it sideways because the piece is sideways. So I wound up and I think I'm going to stick with this. Like I said, if you try to think about it too, too much, I really wanted to cover up, up until I really just wanted the black showing. Okay. So I'm thinking apothecary witches. There's that. And cause I mean, against the green, and this would go more like that. I was thinking, you know, doing that, putting the piece here like that. And then, cause I still wanted to very much use that orange house, that chipboard sticker to emulate the apothecary. Cause an apothecary is a pharmacy, right? And I have these great chipboard stickers. So I wanted to kind of put the house over here and not cover the stitching, but have it look like an apothecary. I don't know. I had such trouble trying to find paper for this one. Um, I'm unsure about this. I think I may need to do some more looking. Um, I really do want to use this orange house, but I also have a black house I could use. I have other houses, so I might use the black one because I think the black one would probably look better, but I don't know. I'm unsure about this paper choice, so I think I need to do some more looking on scrapbook.com and try to think. Um, this board is definitely the board I'm going to use, though, so I'm just trying, like I said, I need paper um, that I... You know, I want to pick out the paper and be like, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, doesn't always work like that. The process is not easy, but okay. That's all I got. Um, job starts in half an hour. It is the same case as we had, not yesterday, but the day before. If we don't have any technical issues, the job should go fine. It will be a long day though. They go until like six o'clock or something. Okay, um, but I'm really hoping to start that piece tonight, the Primer's Cottage Stitches one. I really want to get to some of the smalls in, their, in that book that they did, um, you know, for the Needlework Expo release. Excuse me. I really love that book. Um, but like I said, I'm trying to use up the pieces that I bought. So I'm trying to find pieces to fit those. That's how I came upon this pattern because I didn't own this pattern up until when, right before I started it. So, um, I'm also trying to find a new book to read. I finished the Minka Kent book really good. I liked it. I now have read 54 books. My goal is 60. So six more books before the end of the year. Uh, what did I watch last night? Oh, I watched, and I don't know how it took me this long to watch it. It was originally a Lifetime movie, but then it's on Hulu. Um, Gone Mom, about Jennifer Dulos, her missing. It's a true story. Heartbreaking. Just utterly heartbreaking. And I don't know if you've seen it, but she still hasn't been found as to this day. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. So I watched that last night when I was stitching. And, um, but yeah. Yeah. So I hope you guys all have a good Friday, a great weekend. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.